Hello, everyone. I thought I'd do a quick tutorial or a reminder on why it's important to clean out your watch list in Swing Trade Bot. As my usual reminder, I am a subscriber, so some of the things I do may not be available in the free version. So here's the homepage of Swing Trade Bot. I'm going to go to my watch list and uh, take a look at Bullish Swing. September has been a pretty rough month. You can check out um, my descriptions of what's been happening, why it's been happening on drduru.com slash 122, all one word. Um, and that means that a lot of the stocks that look bullish at the end of August, where we had that fake rally, um, should be in worse condition. So that's a particularly strong reason to go back to a bullish watch list and see what needs to be cleaned out. Now, I was surprised in preparing for this video to see that um, a lot of stocks survived the, the culling. So I go to view charts because, again, I like to use that as a quick way to review the charts. And let's take a look. There are about 40 stocks here and 23 of them I'm deleting. So that's uh, 17 that survived. That's almost 50% of stocks actually survived the pullback in September. And let's take a look at what I consider to be surviving or not surviving. I'm basically going to look at the 50-day moving average which is this red line here. And let's just quickly look through all 40 stocks. So hang in there with me. So AAOI, actually, I won't to I won't name off all of the stocks because that'll get a little tedious for you, I know. So let's just, again, focus on the price action. So this is a 50-day moving average breakdown. That's going to go. This one, I actually bought this morning because this looks like the 50-day moving average is surviving as support. Even though it didn't quite touch it, I kind of like this bounce here. Now, I only bought a half a position because if it pulls back a little bit, I want to buy more. And hopefully this 50-day moving average does hold um, in any further sell-off. And I should have mentioned that also um, the stock market is near uh, oversold. Um, Again, I wrote that in my I wrote about it in my last blog post. Again, drduru.com slash 122. And that's all one word, 122, not numbers. Anyway, the market's almost oversold. So I'm anticipating some sort of rebound soon, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, sometime this week, hopefully by next week, uh, because October will be the third of the stock market's most dangerous months. And I fully anticipate another pullback in October. So we had a pretty good one in August. We've are, we've had an even bigger pullback in September. I don't know whether October's pullback will be bigger or smaller, but I'm anticipating some sort of material pullback. Anyway, that's a reminder to say that these are short-term trades, swing trades that I'm pointing out. Again, another reason why it's important to go back to a bullish uh, trading list and clean it out. So anyway, um, that was a necessary sidetrack. So um, Arista Networks is right on the edge. I'm going to keep it. It's doing a valiant effort to stay with its 50-day moving average, but I'm definitely not going to buy it here. I want to see a little bit more support. Uh, ARCT, uh, this has long been um, off the list. ASTE, 50-day moving breakout uh, breakdown. Cal, I actually also bought today because, again, it looks like 50-day moving average support is actually hanging in there. So, again, you know, you, you kind of like these stocks that survive a pretty decent pullback in the market because hopefully when the market rallies, these will be the strongest or that at least they'll do pretty well. This one never did get to the 50-day moving average. And this one, I think I put on my list. I can't remember when I put CAMT on the list. Um, it was probably a hope that the 20-day moving average would hold a support. That's here. Um, I've completely missed this one. I don't want to chase this price action, but this looks very good. This, strong, this stock looks strong. Uh, CDLX. Now, this one, I think I was hoping, yeah, for the 20-day moving average to hold. That was the bullish case here. And now it's broken down. But now check this out. It looks like it wants to hold 50-day moving average support. So I'm going to be looking to see whether this doji turns into a bottoming um, morning star pattern. That's a candlestick term. Let's move on. So CGNT, this 50-day moving average breakdown, takes it off the list. 
Coco, actually, I bought this around here. This is a longer term play for me. So I would take it off the list for short term trading, but I'm a holder uh, for now. Uh, CTSH, this will stay on the list. Datadog, uh, this was actually a special case where it just barely broke out above the day moving average. I was hopeful it could hang out, but it didn't. And now it's back to being bearish. Fresh Pet, oh, this is definitely off the list. Um, Fortress Transportation, off the list. Hasbro, you know, they had a lot of hype here with all the... Uh, toys and movie uh, combination stuff going on, but it's now off the list. This stays on the list. ITT off the list. LNW off the list. Lowe's long off the list. LPG stays on the list, but I'm not going to chase price here. Lulu, you know, I don't know why I put this on the list in the first place. I think I was... Um, wanted to just keep an eye on it but now i'm not interested it's just chopping around basically meta off the list modine definitely stays on the list pager duty off the list off the list even though this price action today looks pretty or this last price action looks pretty decent but uh, i just don't like this action uh breaking down below the 50-day moving average not at this juncture this stays on the list off the list. And actually, uh, this is one, yes, I still have a short business. So I covered my short again, because the market is getting close to oversold. I pretty much closed out most of my bearish positions, but I, I closed out my short shares, but I am holding a put option. So that's full disclosure there. Uh, off the list. This one, uh, well, I'm going to take it off the list, but I already have a call option, just totally speculating that this uh, magnetized action around the 50-day moving average will eventually resolve into a rebound for ramp. Um, it was a surprising uh, strong mover post-earnings here, so that's why I'm keeping a close eye on it. Um, and I actually need to go back and review the earnings just to see why people got so excited. So I'm going to put that on my list to review more closely. Uh, stays on the list. Definitely off the list in any kind of consumer cyclical apparel stores, except for that one shoe wear company, CAL, that I showed, um, is most likely going to come off the list at this juncture in the economy. RPD, I'll keep on the list, but uh, it's just chopping around. Probably not going to be trading this anytime soon. Spirit, definitely off the list. Spotify, surprisingly, is staying on the list, but um, I think it's an expensive stock, so it'll take a lot for me to venture into speculating on that one. Seagate stays on the list. TDS stays on the list, although it's a very weird pattern here. Um, so I may never trade this one, but I'm keeping an eye on it, given that this uh, burst upward seemed to have some meaning for the stock market. Train, I'm just taking off the list. It's, you know, it's a minor breakdown, but... Uh, I'm trying to get down to a very focused list of strong, strong, strong stocks. Viva definitely stays on the list. VST stays on the list, although I'm probably not going to chase price here, but it looks ready to break out again. Um, and XPO, I was hopeful for this one. Uh, it's coming off the list, though. And that is it. So hopefully you saw um, some ideas here for potential stocks to keep on your list. And again, nothing is guaranteed. You need to stay on top of these lists, clean them out, stay focused on the stocks that most cl closely align with whatever your trading thesis is and whatever your risk tolerance is. So that's all for today. Uh, go out there and be careful. Till the next time.